And joining us now is somebody very familiar with Queen Elizabeth. Rob Shooter worked with the royal family, and he joins us now to discuss the passing of this great monarch and what it means for Britain going forward. Rob, I want to get your initial thoughts. I know you recently became an American citizen. Yes, that's so right. you are a Brit through and through. <laughs> I still have this accent. It's absolutely true. Yeah. Even as an American, though, you're absolutely shocked. And I know that sounds ridiculous. She's in her late 90s. But I think there was something about this woman that we just never believed today would come. And I think that's because she's been around for so long. We could never imagine a moment without Queen Elizabeth. However, tonight, in about an hour, it's going to be midnight in London and a lot of people are going to bed for the first time without Queen Elizabeth on the throne. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I was watching on BBC because I thought if I want to hear this news, I want to hear it from BBC. And I saw you on Instagram put the post up that when they changed their their outfits, mm -hmm. their dress, that, that there had clearly been a marked difference yeah, in the, it's, in the it's news. It's a real sign. So we knew this morning when I got up and I saw the announcement from the palace, I knew this was not going to be good news. The Queen hated talking about her health and she very rarely put out statements. So the fact that statement was put out this morning and then we saw the royals rushing up to Scotland, we knew it was bad. But the real sign for me is when the TV announcers at the BBC started to put on their and their black jackets, that, that was a moment that we knew uh, it was going to be this ending of this incredible, incredible life, legacy, institution. She's not just a family member, it's a company, it's a firm, it's one of the biggest companies in the world. So lots and lots of changes. And I think for a moment today, let's just celebrate how great she really was. Yeah, she was sort of an accidental queen though, she right? Was. I mean, she, she is not unlike her son and her grandson and right. her great grandson. This was not supposed oh, to be the Oh, absolutely not. She was born in a townhouse in London, not a palace. She was kind of a minor royal, so her uncle abdicated, and that changed the history of the family. But when she was born, her dad was not going to be king, and so they just did not ever think this day would happen. And turns out she's the longest-running monarch in British history, an extraordinary lady, and I think the reason that she managed to reign with such grace for all those years is she adapted the family. She knew it couldn't stay the same royal family that she started when she was in her 20s. It changed. Things adapted. And going forward, I think we're going to see even more changes under now King Charles. Doesn't that sound strange? It, King yes. Charles. Yes. I mean, it's no longer God Save the Queen. It's Long Live the <laughs> That's King. That's right already. The national anthem has changed. The money hasn't changed yet. So the Bank of England put mm. out a notification saying, don't worry, it's still legal tender, but it will change. Her face will come off the currency and his face will go on. One thing before we go. Yeah. What happens to the corgis and the horses? Oh, they're going to be well looked after. If there's one thing that Queen Elizabeth adored, was it her was her corgis. animals. Yeah. She loved her dogs. She loved her horses. They're going to have a, a fantastic life. But I'm sure they're going to miss her. We're yeah. all going to miss her. Rob Shooter, thank you. Good a a well-lived life. Through a and through, well, that's what sure. we have to remember, an extraordinary life.